This is the partially abandoned Ashford International Station. Or is it? It is, but I just wanted to keep you on your toes. On another note, let's visit the second newest station in the UK. Between Ashford and Thanet Parkway there are a total of seven stations, of which fast trains stop at only Ashford, Canterbury and Thanet Parkway, before proceeding to Ramsgate, Broadstairs and finally Margate. But slow trains stop at Ashford, White, Chillum, Charton, Canterbury, West, Sturry, Minster, but then skip Thanet Parkway outside of peak times, before then proceeding to Ramsgate where the, where the slow trains terminate, and the Dover to Ramsgate via sandwich trains do not stop at Thanet Parkway under any circumstances. Well now our class 395 has pulled into Ashford we can talk about the station the line, and the line that the station is situated on. Thanet Parkway is being built to serve the new Discovery Park Enterprise Park. The new housing develops in, developments in the area and the existing village of Cliffs End. In the future it m may also serve Manston Airport if a bus link was instated. The idea of the station at Thanet Parkway was first put forward by a developer who wanted to build 800 homes in the area and by the end of 2013 planning permission was submitted. This failed but they didn't give up until they got grounded planning permission on the site, slightly further west of the original site which is what we will be visiting today. But this wasn't the first time there had been a station near Cliffs End. In fact just east of the new station there was once a station called Ebbs Fleet and Cliffs End which was on a completely different site to the current Thanet Parkway station but very close. And on that note we have arrived. <laughs> Parkway. Very new. Black. It's going to get really hot. White instead of yellow. It's a very long platform. This has got a waiting shop, but not proper benches, which is annoying. Oh, and it's got proper benches. Kind of. You can sit on it properly. They're not like slanted like this one, bum rusters. Actually, proper seats. Very narrow platform. <laughs> I mean, a station's better than no station, but still. <laughs> Stand behind which yellow line? No, they mean this one. But there's not much space. Imagine rush hour. But I suppose this station probably won't get that much use for rush hour. A lot of people got off, considering that it was, considering that it's the middle of the day. It is 12 o'clock. Quite busy.
only fast train stop here, which is, I think is a bit annoying. Because I'll point the train off. now approaching platform Ooh. two does not stop here. Please stand well clear of the edge of platform two. Clear point. If they want this to be a park and ride, then it should be easy and frequent. And not having oh, most of the trains stop here doesn't do that. Oh, it's something different. It's a 73. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, you can hear the sound in the rails. Oh, light engine as well. Unsightly. I'm gonna just use glass. I suppose plan it. Probably get broken. used to be a road. And then I converted it to be for pedestrians. It's quite a nice old tunnel. I'm sure the rest of it isn't quite as nice as this. Oh, a bench. Someone's put a bench. Someone's put a lovely bench there. Nicest thing of the station. I mean, I like the fact there's a station, but it's a bit empty. But there was a car park. I think my friend's coming on the up on the train. Next one from Ramsgate. Facilities can be found in the front. 
Well, I'm gonna have to walk up. Or my friend can walk down. Why do they have it stop right at the end of the platform where there's no stairs? Couldn't they have it so it's near the entrance? Ticket machine. £51 to London terminals. £56 for a travel card. And there's the secret path that lets you go to Cliff's End without having to walk all the way around. You just walk through there. It's easy. I did it to do geocaching. There's some good geocaches here at work. Pegwell Bay. You should come here for Pegwell Bay. There it is. Planet Parkway. Let's go up to the platform because my train is in a few minutes. I've seen that 70, 73. Wasn't expecting to see a light light car. Never seen one before, to be honest. I'm not a train spotter, though. <laughs> Definitely not. Sit on this bench. It's too high out there to sit on the platform. Now you've heard my initial ramblings and exploration, let's talk about what I think about the place, with some photos in the background that I took at the station and down the road at Pegwell Bay. My thoughts on the station is that it's a missed opportunity, it is built in a place that needed a station but it's been ex executed appallingly. Let's start with the outside of the station, as you can see it's a barren concrete desert with nothing but paving and the asphalt of the car park covering the whole station, and to be honest the car park isn't even that large for a parkway station expecting most of its passengers to come by motor vehicle. One train per hour is, e is not even enough for this station. Park and ride stations should be minimal hassle, meaning that passengers should be able to park and ride easily and conveniently. The fact that it only gets a single train an hour with most park services bypassing a station is appalling. If they want the station to be used as the park and ride for Thanet, they should make it convenient for drivers to arrive and get on the train without planning in advance. Instead, if all services stopped, Passengers could rely on the fact that a train will arrive within a reasonable amount of time, thus inducing demand and making the station's construction more worthwhile. The fact that no bus services serve the station is not good considering it was built as a transport hub. How can it be a transport hub if no other modes of public transport operate there? Another small issue I have at the station is the path through to Cliff's End is not paved, it is instead a muddy track. 
Considering that the people of Lithsen would probably want to use their new station is pretty bad, as in order to access the station they would have to walk through the mud, which during the winter months I think would get very messy. The station also isn't very well signposted. Without any phone, I, I wouldn't have been able to find my way from the station to Pegwell Bay at local wildlife park and back, as there simply was no shine to show us where to go. After that exciting adventure, I hopped back on the train to Ashford. And that concludes the video. Do the like, comment, subscribe, and bye-bye.